Hey, everybody, in case you partied too hardy last night and forgot, it's back to school time. Bummer. Here's more KLOR music to ease the pain. Tarzan's ready for another day in the jungle. Let's have a nice, quiet breakfast, okay, Gene? No bickering. Hey, I told you, everything's fine. We had our talk last night, we agreed. He's gonna stay out of trouble this year, and I'm gonna stay off his back. Gets good grades, keeps his nose clean. End of the semester, you can have the old car. So everything's fine. Ma, can we go shopping? I really need some more clothes. We just went shopping, Teresa. Look at this. Psychic predicts Fidel Castro will marry Barbara Mandrell. Renounce communism and move to France. <laughs> Daddy, at least a couple more sweaters. Please, I don't have nearly enough sweaters. You got plenty of sweaters, and they're all too tight. Oh, relax, Jean, that's the style. All the girls are wearing them that tight. Daddy, you are so old-fashioned. Yeah? Have a daughter that looks like you. You'd be old-fashioned, too. Hi, honey. Hi. Great, here's my other nudist. Morning, everybody. The guys here yet? Dewey's out front. He's... Practicing on his invisible guitar. Have his parents ever had him tested or anything? It's Neil. That's his honk. I gotta go. Oh, you better eat your breakfast first. And remember, Pete, stay out of trouble. Yeah, sure, Pop. <laughs> right, stay out of trouble. Pete, stay out of trouble. What do you laugh? Remember, come on, let's go. We're late. Three dollars each for the gas. Except, Pete, you owe me four. Who owe you four? For the hamburger. Careful, it's my brother. Oh, chariot. Hey, look, walking to school is really lame. What do you say we hitch it? Hitchhike? We're, we're going to hitchhike? I, I've never done that. Something tells me there's a lot of stuff you've never done. Stick your thumb out. This is great. You know, I hope you don't think you're going to hang around with me all day. I mean, I promised your mom I'd walk you through the school on a kind of live in the same building. But I ain't gonna babysit you. I'm telling you, she's perfect, man. She's a semi-airhead, a great pair of getaway sticks. I'm definitely taking her to the freshman dance. Wow. Denise Gulich. I've heard good stuff about her. Hey, you better be cool, Pete. She's going with some hard guy. A real head smasher. No, man. no, that was last semester. Denise told me he quit high school and he joined the Marines. I don't know, man. Hey, Dewey, why don't you join the Marines? Ever since you became the Phantom, you never go to class anyway. Hey, I'm not a dropout, man. It don't take no brains to be a dropout. I'm a truant. Oh, that's a real art. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pete, speaking of women, uh, how come you never let Teresa ride with us? Are you kidding? No. Hey, you guys are my best friends, but I gotta tell you something. You pigs. Oh, really? Yeah, you don't know how to treat a woman. You don't have no respect. I respect women too much, I think. Hey, look at those two chicks hitching. Let's grab them. It's a ride! Hold Don't you read the papers? Check it out. Always check it out. There all day or get in. You guys got a grunt or Emerson? Grunt. <laughs> Come on. So, I'm Pete Falcone. This is Neil Heffernan. For your driving pleasure, sometimes known as a professor. And uh, Dewey Hooper in the back seat. Dewey Hooper? The phantom Dewey Hooper? We're only freshmen and we've heard of you. Isn't that right, Robin? I am Patty Eubanks. Hi. And this is my friend, Robin Dupree. Hi. So, uh, 
got the professor here? You got the phantom? What do they call you? Different people call me different things. Hey, Punk. Glad you know your name, Falcone. You want something, Cliff, or did you just stop by to remind us how ugly you are? I got a message for you from Garth Stimmelvich. Never heard of him. You should. You've been making out with this girl, Denise Gulick. Who said she's his girl? He does. He's getting out of boot camp today. And he's making a special trip back to town just to punch your lights out. I'd have a headstone picked out if I was you. Look at me, I'm shaking. He'll be here Friday. See you at the dance, punk. I can't believe how cute that Pete Falcone is. I want him. <laughs> What's so funny? You. I want him. Well, you never know. I mean, maybe he's ready for somebody young and eager to learn, huh? Yeah, something. You're dangerous. Cooper! Come here. Hi, Mr. Otto. What's happening? This is happening. I'm gonna get you, Hooper. I'm making it my personal mission to whip your keister into the principal's office. I happen to know you cut over 375 classes last year. Just how you manage to pass eludes me. But I promise you, you're not going to get away with it this year. Not with Franklin T. Otto on the job. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Listen, and listen good. I'm gonna stalk you, Hooper, like a lion stalks a gazelle, crouched in the tall grass, waiting, patient, silent. I'm gonna pounce on you, Hooper. You understand? Now go to class. Uh, Falcone. Yo. Hefferman? Heffernan, sir. Cooper? Here. Jones? Here. Keller? Here, man. Ian. Lewis. Could I borrow a... <laughs> no. <laughs> Nash. to you, Mr. Hooper. Morning. Now, I told you we'd be seeing Mr. Hooper this day. Yeah, you called it, Joe. Let's play some blues, Hal and Joe. Oh, no, now, wait a minute, Mr. Hooper. Ain't you forgetting something? You know, if I was your daddy, I'd put my boot right where your is. But I ain't your daddy. You been practicing? Denise? 
now that Garth is coming to town to kill you and all, I kind of want to know. Are we still going to the dance? Yeah, no problem. Are you sure, Pete? He's pretty big. Yeah? Well, big don't mean bad. But, uh, about how big would you say he was? Just out of curiosity. Huge. He's huge. I'm a pest, don't you? You got it. Well, I don't want to be a pest, but I need your help, and I'll make it worth your while. I mean, anything you want. Who do I have to kill? No, I'm serious. You help me catch Pete. Teach me things I ought to know, like a technical advisor. I will pay you. Hey, dudes. Hey. Hi, Dewey. Listen, everybody's talking about how the U.S. Marines are coming Friday to remove your face. Yeah, you know, it's difficult for me to conceive that this is actually happening. Yeah, it's getting hairy. You sure Denise Gulick is worth all the hassle, man? 